Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about iOS 15 Developer Beta 6. I've been running this beta on my primary device for about a week now. The beta was released last Tuesday on August the 17th. In this video, we're going to talk about additional new features within the latest beta that I've come across. I also want to share with you guys expected release dates for beta 7. I want to talk about 14.8 as well. And I want to talk about, of course, the YouTube community poll where you guys provide feedback on how the software has been working overall. And the first thing I want to talk about is additional changes within the software. Now, it looks like on the latest beta, some of the major changes happened with in Safari, in case you didn't know, you now have the option in Safari extension here in settings to choose rather the uh, bottom bar here or the top single tab on the top for Safari. This was somewhat controversial. I like the one here on the top here. There's some minor changes that I didn't talk about in my initial beta. If you tap and hold here, you now have the option, of course, to paste in search. You also have copy, voice search, and move to tab group as well. This is something new within the latest beta that I've come across after using it for several days and if we go into landscape mode here we also have a very new ui here for the tabs it looks very similar to ipad os i think i like that a lot so yeah a lot of the changes within beta 6 did happen within safari other than that if you didn't watch my initial coverage for the additional features within the software i'll make sure to link that in the description down below now one thing that i do want to mention that i did not mention on previous beta and this isn't particularly new to this beta if we go to the camera extension here in settings and if we go to right here preserve settings you can actually turn off a night mode on your iphone and again this is not new to this beta this is something that i do want to mention because it is new within ios 15 but i never talked about this if you go to photos and go to night mode if you set it to off and you click on preserve settings here in the settings extension for the camera you now have the ability to completely turn off night mode i know that some users were complaining that rather you want it night mode on or off it would automatically switch to automatic and now apple is giving users the option to actually switch that option off now aside from that i also want to talk about ios 14.8 as you know apple is rumored to be working or actually evidence suggests that apple is working on 14.8 before the release of ios 15 to the public now if you follow me here on the channel you already know that ios 15 is expected to be released mid to late september so if apple was to release ios 14.8 which could be changing the way iOS operates entirely. And I'll link my video here in the cards. So make sure you check that out. That software is aimed to be released within the next two weeks. I would like to say, I'm not sure if Apple is going to be doing beta testing for that software or if this software will be pushed uh, instantly uh, to everyone worldwide. Of course, stay tuned here to the channel for more information on 14.8. If Apple does decide to release that software again, videos will be in the cards and in the description down below. But in about a week or two, we should expect that software to be released before before we see iOS 15 officially released to the public if Apple moves forward with the plans. Now I want to head on over to YouTube here because I want to talk about the YouTube community post. There's a few concerns here, especially for iPhone 11 owners. As you can see right there, of course, the question is how is iOS 15 developer beta 6 working for you? And we have approximately 6,400 votes there. And a 29% of you guys are having a great experience so far. 19% of you guys say it's okay, but there's still some bugs. A 4% of you guys say it's very buggy, actually. And a whopping 48%, close to half of you guys that voted, say you're not running the latest beta. Now, you can come back to these YouTube community polls, as I mentioned, every time. Uh, weekly, as Apple releases new beta, these YouTube community polls do get updated. And you can also read some of the comments here that some users are expressing concerns for example uh, right here poor battery life on iphone 11 okay so a lot of users are reporting battery life issues on iphone 11 that's something to be uh, concerned about that's one of the most popular comments here right here it says great so far i'm using on iphone 10r and as i always mention if you do decide to comment make sure you add your device type it says here that iphone 10r is running smoothly and most of you are very excited for the initial release of ios 15 which is obviously a good thing now as i mentioned um you can come back to these youtube community poll you can have a look here at what some users are saying uh, some of the concerns to see if you have any of the issues that other users are having but so far it looks like ios 15 developer beta 6 expressing a lot of concerns from users on iphone 11 so just keep that in mind iphone 11 i do test 
on a daily, but my primary device is iPhone 12 Pro Max, but I do test iPhone 11, but I can't give you uh, concrete solid evidence that the battery is degraded on this beta. I'll continue testing, but it looks like that's to be the case, at least for iPhone 11 owners. Again, always check back on the YouTube community poll. And last but not least, I want to talk about iOS 15 and developer beta 7. Now, as you know, if you follow me here on the channel, Apple was on a two weeks release schedule, and it looks like last week they shifted that to a weekly release schedule. So if Apple continues on a weekly release schedule, as early as tomorrow, Tuesday, August the 24th, we could see iOS 15 developer beta 7. Yes, and Apple is still working on the software, polishing things up before the official release. As I mentioned, expect an official release towards the last two weeks of September, maybe even the first week of October. So towards this time frame here, we should see a release again if Apple decides to push 14.8. Uh, just keep that in mind. But next beta, beta 7, iOS 15. Expect that from anywhere from Tuesday the 24th on up with additional changes, maybe a minor tweaking to Safari, and we'll have to wait and see what Apple uh, decides to do with some of the major features that we're still waiting on, like universal control and some of the other features that Apple did hold back, which I do have a video on, links in the description and in the cards as well, which is some of the greatest features like share play for FaceTime has now been delayed. Uh, universal control we've seen nothing of, but anyway, guys, just a quick update here. My experience with the software, your experience with the software, expected release dates and everything stay tuned tomorrow we could see a new beta thank you for watching and i'll see you guys real soon peace